Hey, this is Dr. Barry. In this video, let's discuss for a few minutes about whether the salt on the table at a restaurant or even in your own home is safe to eat. This is a big deal and you're gonna to wanna to see the information in this video because it could directly affect your health, either for the better or for the worse, depending on what changes you make. Now, if you know someone who loves salt and eats lots of salt and needs to be eating the correct salt, please consider sharing this video with them. Send them an email, a text message, a smoke signal. There are so many people that don't realize that the salt that they eat and don't think a thing about could actually be harming their health. Now let's talk about this. You may have heard about the recent study that was published in the Nature, in the journal Nature. It's a big journal. And they tested all of the different brand names of salt in the world. And they found that over 90% of the name brand salts had microplastics in them. Yeah, not just a little bit. 90% of the ones they sampled had microplastics, which is tiny particles of plastic, either as small as the period at the end of a sentence or even smaller than that. This is a huge deal for your overall health and longevity. And so let's talk about this. You know from other videos on my channel that trying to get plastic out of your life is a big deal. You don't want to wear plastic. You don't want warm plastic against your warm skin. You definitely don't want to heat or reheat foods and liquids in plastic. Plastics are very volatile and they, they are estrogen mimickers, which means that they can fool your body and pretend to be, they can masquerade as estrogen in your body, which is not a good thing for men, definitely, but also for women and definitely for children. You don't want these estrogen mimickers. Other people describe them as endocrine disruptors. They can actually mess up the hormonal cascades in your body and lead to obesity, inflammation, pain, stiffness, and a hundred other maladies, which you don't want in your life. Now, if you'd like more information about how our entire society and environment is becoming an estrogen charged society, there's a book by Dr. Anthony J called Estrogeneration. I'm going to put a link down below. I think it's one of the very most important books you can read for your long-term health span and your lifespan. So, but check that book out. And so I've said before on Facebook Lives and on YouTube videos that I don't think storing food or drink in plastic in the refrigerator, I don't think that's a very big deal. But definitely if the plastic that your food or drink is in is above room temperature, plastic is very volatile. It's made out of oil, right? That's, it's, made, it's a petroleum product. And so the warmer it gets, the more volatile it becomes. And it begins to give off gases and then even small particles of the plastic. And so a lot of salt manufacturers in the world just pump in seawater out of the ocean and evaporate it and get the salt. That's how they do it. And so you can imagine how polluted our oceans are right now. We have huge islands of plastic shopping bags floating in the Pacific. We have all this pollution. We have whatever's left in the ocean from Fukushima. We have all the arsenic and the cadmium and the mercury, all this stuff floating around in the ocean. And so it just doesn't make good sense. It doesn't make good health sense anymore to evaporate existing seawater and turn that into table salt because that salt is going to be full of those pollutants, including the microplastics. Now, up to 25 to 30 percent of the table salt that may be on your own table or on the table at a restaurant comes from evaporated ocean water. That's a big deal. And so no longer can you trust the Umbrella Girl Salt Company or your restaurant to give you a safe salt that doesn't contain microplastics. And so it's much better to be using a rock salt that has been mined from an extinct ancient sea, like under the Himalayan mountains, like under the clay in Utah. There are various different salts and, and our favorite salt that we love like this is Redmond's Real Salt. And it comes from an extinct ocean that's in Utah that's under 30 feet of clay and so 100,000 years ago, the ocean wasn't polluted like it is now, right? And so that, that salt is just salt. It has all kinds of other micronutrients, minerals that you need. And so I think that's much safer. And so back to trying to get plastic out of your life, 
your body surface area, the entire surface of your outer body is somewhere between one and a half and two square meters, right? And so we want to try to not be touching plastic any more than we can against our body. But what you may not know is that the surface area inside you from your mouth to the exit at the other end is about 30 to 45 square meters. So there's much more surface area inside your body. And so when you eat the salt that contains my microplastic, the plastic is inside your body and there's a much larger surface area. And also keep in mind your body is almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And so that plastic is heated in your body and you have all this surface area. Some of these microplastics are so small that they can actually penetrate the junction between your intestinal cells and get into your bloodstream. That is a huge deal. You can't take a chance with this anymore. And so I encourage you to eat a real unprocessed rock salt that is mined from an ancient extinct ocean. Do not eat salt that comes from just evaporated seawater. I don't care if it's from a pristine bay or deep, deep, deep in the ocean. At this point, we have to consider the entire ocean polluted. And I hate that. That makes me very sad to say that. And we need to be working on fixing that. But in the meantime, you need to eat a salt that does not contain microplastics or the other contaminants that are currently probably floating around in our ocean. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see others like it, click that little subscribe button around that right, it's right down there and the little bell right beside it. That way, every time I have a bright idea, you'll be one of the very first people to know. Also, if my videos have helped your health in some way, please consider clicking on my Patreon link. It's right down below. You can sign up very quickly. And you can throw a buck or two my way to help me have more time to make videos just like this. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.